to another video feature of the Immersive Worlds Handbook. Today I am in uh, Prim, Nevada at Buffalo Bills Casino. And uh, it's been a long time coming that I visit this casino. I want to take you inside and show you some of the uh, interesting theming here and uh, some of the sites. So let's go inside and, and take a look here at Buffalo Bills. Sorry about the wind on the day of my visit. It was very, very windy outside. Uh, but as I said on my um, introductory video there, Buffalo Bills had always been on my radar. I always wanted to visit uh, this casino. Uh, for one, because of the roller coaster. As I mentioned in this video, it was for a time uh, one of the tallest uh, anywhere. And certainly now it's, it's been surpassed. But the second reason was to look at the um, innovative theming. And in this feature, I'm talking about theming complex. And by the theming complex, I mean the entirety of how theming is developed inside the casino and also in this case on the exterior. And I think to me what is also innovative about Buffalo Bills is the fact that they have the roller coaster and the log flume ride going inside the casino, which I think makes it very, very unique. Uh, I'm reminded of certainly the uh, New York, New York and their roller coaster, which also uh, starts uh, from inside the casino and makes a part of that um, exterior lattice that is part of the structure of New York, New York. But going back to Buffalo Bills, I think what you'll find is that there's very, very extensive theming. Um, on my visit to Prim, I also went to Whiskey Pete's across the street, and I wasn't exactly sure what I would find inside Buffalo Bills. Um, I was thoroughly impressed in terms of, again, this notion of the theming complex. And you can see here that with the log flume ride, they actually have it laid out in such a way that it goes through most of the casino. It draws certainly your attention. It makes you think of a theme space of being transported to another world because of its uniqueness. And also the fact as you see some uh, uh, of the, the flumes coming in here, uh, some of the cars, it's uh, you know also something that is going to really stand out for the guests because it's so entirely unexpected. And I was trying to think of other examples of indoor rides like this and uh, other than as I'm pointing here to the uh, what's a, actually a game element on the ride, you have a, um, a little light gun and you shoot at those uh, targets as you can see there with the vulture just below there's a target. But in any case, I was trying to think of uh, interior uh, theme parks like this and certainly Circus Circus uh, comes to mind. Also the Mall of America. I, I realize in Dubai there's many, many um, entertainment complexes and theme parks that are being built on the interior. Um, but I was also thinking of a, a place that I went to when I was a kid in Chicago called Old Chicago, which was uh, this quaint recreation of old time Chicago and it had theme park rides inside. So the uniqueness of Buffalo Bills is certainly related to this log flume, to the uh, roller coaster, and also to the extensive theming that you notice. So here's what you see when you first enter. Uh, I really like when I see a themed hotel, a casino, when they've done a lot of work on the the front gate area basically. This would be the front gate area. This is the, the first thing that a guest sees when he or she visits the property. And I think it's very important to have your theming already established by the time the guest enters the space. Uh, a few slides ago I had the image uh, on the door which also was, was part of the theming, uh, the theme doorknob. And what you see as you move away from the front desk area, you see uh, indoor trees, really well done signage. I was incredibly impressed with how they approached the signage um, in Buffalo Bills in the casino. Here you're seeing another image of one of those trees. Again, I think very, very surprising. Um, made me think a little bit of Paris, Las Vegas as well, just in terms of having these large structures that um, you know appear to be something that you would see on the exterior. I'm showing you some of the signage here then which you can see there's a recreation of a uh, stable, which I thought was incredibly well themed. And to re-emphasize the signage here and uh, the painting, uh, just I think a really exciting job they did. This is the um, arena where they have performances of various sorts. And you can see a little bit there of the uh, 
the backdrop mural, mural that is painted of the crowd in keeping with this uh, Wild West, Old West theme. Here's a shot of the um, entrance area near the lift hill of the Desperado, the roller coaster. And again, it's a minor thing, but the Desperado, as part of the theming complex, has a name that ties in with uh, the Old West. You see here, uh, you saw there a shooting game. The food court area also maintained that theming complex throughout my walk uh, down the food court area. You see there's actually a McDonald's in back. They also have a Denny's, and I this is an example where I wasn't too distracted by the side of the McDonald's and the Denny's and the fact that they didn't, as brands, entirely fit in with the theme because the eye is taken with so many other details in this space. Most notably, uh, the, the log flume ride and the canal that um, uh, moves throughout the casino. You're seeing here a shot of the food court area. And if you get a chance to visit Buffalo Bills in Prim, Nevada, I hope you'll have the opportunity to look at some of this theming on your own. It really is a, a place that you should stop at and take a look at if you're at all interested in elements of theming. And as I said, the theming complex here is this notion that they've taken to heart this theme, they've established it, they've used variations throughout the casino, and they maintain a vital sense of consistency that I think sometimes is lost in many other theme spaces. So certainly what they've done here is quite admirable, and uh, I hope you have that opportunity to take a look at this casino uh, sometime in your travels if you ever happen to be going uh, to Las Vegas, perhaps stopping in Prim, Nevada. All right, and so we're taking a look here at more of the track of the Desperado roller coaster, which back in the day, mid to late 90s, was actually the uh, highest coaster in the U.S., maybe in the world. Um, certainly today has been eclipsed by many other coasters all over the place, Cedar Point. This is part of the uh, log fluming, the log flume ride. You can see they've done the uh, tombstones and extensive, extensive theming as I'm showing you inside as well in terms of creating the Old West atmosphere. And here then is the small drop of the flume ride. And you can see they've interconnected it with the Desperado track, so a lot of effort went into this for sure. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video feature today, looking at the extensive theming inside uh, Buffalo Bills, which is in uh, Prim, Nevada and we had a chance to look at some of the uh, amazing features in this uh, theme casino, including the only flume ride that I know of inside a casino. So please come back for additional video features of the Immersive Worlds Handbook.